I meet Nikolai from the University of Bedfordshire. Hi, Nikolai. Hi, how are you? Good. Nikola, why do students choose University of Bedfordshire? Okay, there are um, uh, many reasons why Indian students, especially they choose University of Bedfordshire, are a very popular destination for Indian students in the UK. Uh, reasons such as um, lower tuition fee, um, a wide range of courses, courses with placement, location, we are 25 minutes from central London, student support, uh, lower um, um, expenses in terms of accommodation, uh, especially if you live in university accommodation, you just walk from two minutes to uh, 10 minutes to the university, don't require public transport, not the hustle and bustle of big cities, you save a lot of time and money. We have a lot of as association uh, here. Uh, we give um, uh, students the opportunity to tell us uh, what exactly they like and they don't like. It's a very open dialogue and you know, on improve. It's a uh, interaction they have with uh, my colleagues up to the senior management facilities, such as the library, which is open 24 seven, uh, canteen where they can have a breakfast. Um, location within Luton, we are in city center. Uh, where you find a lot of uh, shopping um, uh, malls and boutiques. And for those who are, for example, vegetarian, we have quite a bit of an Asian population here. You can get your um, veggies, you can get your dals. Those who are, for example, um, um, because of their uh, religious background, they need halal, they halal butchery. So everything is there. We are multicultural. Uh, multi-ethnical society. It's a, an environment where you feel um, not that the one odd in the crown is very easy to integrate. And we also celebrate with you. We, cele we celebrate um, uh, Holi, we celebrate Diwali, we celebrate Eid, we celebrate Christmas. So it's a complete integration of all. And this is the most important when you come to a foreign country is the support and you should feel a part of a family because if you don't feel you're a part of a family, then the issue starts from there. And academic support, of course, which is very important and we give to students. So, uh, Nikolai, students are very keen usually to know about scholarships. Do you offer any scholarships? Yes, uh, everybody gets vice chancellor scholarship 1000 pound. So that's not um, depending on uh, how much you score in class 12 or a degree. So automatically you get a 1,000 pounds vice chancellor scholarship. There is an additional of uh, 500 pounds if they pay upfront at, uh, or at registration. Students are allowed to work 20 hours a week in the UK and they can work full time uh, during their break. A little bit of an issue now because of COVID, but still there are quite a bit of job with Amazon and others. So they can do that. And of course, uh, they do not pay for medical if they require any medical because this is part of the insurance they pay along with the visa. So they have access to the same medical facilities like us in the UK, which is uh, nowadays, which is very important actually to have it. Okay. And uh, do you offer postgraduate work courses with uh, work placement in them? Yes, and we what used, the success rate for these students? We used, we used to do that before the pandemic. Uh, we had about 600 students who apply for our courses for placement. It was 100% uh, placement. The reason for that is uh, that I hire two people in my office whose responsibility is to look for work placement. And everybody got the, the work placement. Of course, students also, they need to play their part there. They need to attend the seminar. They need to attend our uh, preparation for the interviews. Um, some work placement, uh, there are outside Luton, even in London, but uh, those offering the work placement agreed to pay for commuting uh, charges. So students were not out of their pocket. However, because of the pandemic, <clears throat> because of the legislation, we, um, we put a stop for the time being, but we have in place the two-year courses with no work placement. So these courses, the advantage of these courses is there's no danger of visa curtailment because if you do not find a placement, then automatically university will ask you to do uh, the final dissertation and curtail the visa and go back. In the case of the two years, there is no danger of curtailment. Secondly, when you have the placement, it's very difficult to go the, to the placement and even work at the same day. 
if you don't have the placement, you can work the 20 hours um, a week you are entitled. So there are plus and cons and students should consider that. And it's a wider portfolio of courses without placement. Uh, but as I said, for the time being, it's, it's quite an issue offering uh, work placement. Other than IELTS, is there any other way you assess uh, the English speaking skills of the students? Yes. Um, all students who got a minimum 70% in class 12 in English, irrespective of boards in India, they get an IELTS exemption. So that is good because, again, nowadays it's quite difficult to book a slot for IELTS. We accept uh, the PTE also. Uh, so yes, I think uh, quite a bit of our students get exemption from miles because of the uh, marks they got in class 12. Okay, great. Now, uh, are there accommodation available for students offered by the university and what is the kind of cost? And is there any self-isolation possible uh, in that accommodation for students who visit uh, or who, who will join in now in Jan? Yes, uh, accommodation is available for students for uh, from undergraduates, even running foundation to masters and PhD. Accommodation, as I mentioned earlier, is from two minutes to just cross the road to 10 minutes on foot. So it's very, uh, yeah. All accommodation in the university is a non-shared basis. That means they do not share the room. The accommodation we have is unsuite, so they have their own bathroom, they share only the kitchen. The prices they start from 120 pounds a week, inclusive of all the bills, electricity, heating, and internet. So that if you compare um, with other big cities, you see it's, a, it's like a 40% uh, uh, less in terms of accommodation. It's very safe, <clears throat> it's 24 hour security is there. Um, and um, of course, we also offer uh, accommodation for students who are coming to the UK and they have to self-isolate. And I want to emphasize self-isolation is mandatory, irrespective of whether you have a COVID test or not. However, we cannot offer only two weeks. The minimum we could offer is one semester, which is about 20 weeks. So the students could book um, one semester and self-isolate. And during the self-isolation, uh, it's not that we are going to uh, actually watch Netflix. No, we are going to register and start studying. And <clears throat> when everything is over, we just cross the road. During the self-isolation, we can help them with shopping, with groceries, etc. And it's very easy for us to reach out to them when they have uh, issues. So I suggest they should take university accommodation. Can you tell the students something about the Canam and uh, Bedfordshire relationship? Oh, oh yeah, Bedfordshire and Canam has been having quite a long relationship uh, and uh, they are one of our trusted partners in India. They are helping us to recruit students, good quality students from India. It's like a extended hand of University of Bedfordshire. As you are aware, it's difficult for me um, to travel all the time to India. I used to come five to six times to India, actually, uh, during uh, mm -hmm. the good times. I mean, before the pandemic, it's always good time in India, I remember. Um, so they are actually uh, helping us with application, with assessment, uh, guiding students uh, in visa application, guiding them uh, through the requirements when it comes to um, uh, visa, which no longer is called tier four from the 5th of October, it's called students route. There are new rules there. Uh, and giving support to students there and continuing to give them support until they reach the university. So it is very important uh, for the university to have a trusted partner uh, locally, because as I said, we cannot travel that often. I have to cover other regions. And um, this sort of a trust is mutual, is being uh, established and proof over the, the years. So yes, I think uh, we are quite happy with the services that uh, Canon is uh, offering to students and the university. Thank you, Nikolai. It was great talking to you and I'm sure the students enjoyed listening to you. Yeah, thank you very much.